Please be seated. Hello, I am Todd Kronofsky. I am an administrator at Archway Academy, and I am lucky because I get to work every day with these wonderful staff, students, and families. Thank you everyone for being here today at, at the completion ceremony with Archway Academy. This school year has created many positive memories for each and every student and staff member. Students can look back on this year and find those moments when they demonstrated growth and or independence on the job, in the classroom, during events or activities, or in the community. Today is a summation of all those wonderful things that we have done this year. We have an incredible class of graduates. Some are not here with us today due to their employ employment status, working at places like Safeway, Taco Bell, Walgreens, and many more. <laughs> Our graduates have made significant progress over their time at Archway Academy. Our, I am honored to share the celebration with our families, staff members, members of the school board, our superintendent, and our students. Thank you CTE and Kim Burhow for all your support with our program. Thank you Matt Hill and Special Services for all your support with our program. Let's get this ceremony started. I would like to welcome our Master of Ceremonies to the podium. Please give a round of applause for Natalie Padilla. Thank you, everyone. I'm Natalie Padilla, and I'm going to graduate of Archery M. Kennedy. I'm happy to be here today. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, will you lead us in the land acknowledgement? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Each community is rooted in the history that has led to this moment. Today, we start our day by connecting with this history of people on this occupied land. Some were brought here against their will. Some were drawn to leave their distant homes in hope of a better life. And some have lived on this land for more generations than can be counted. Truth and reconciliation are critical to building mutual respect and connection across all barriers of heritage and difference. We begin this effort to acknowledge what has been buried by honoring the truth. Evergreen Public Schools resides on the traditional lands of the Chinookan peoples and the Cowlitz tribe. They have lived on and cared for this land and, and its waterways since time immemorial. We thank them for their stewardship and make this acknowledgement to open a space of recognition inclusion, and respect for all indigenous students, families, and staff in our community. Please take a moment to consider the many legacies of violence, displacement, migration, and settlement that bring us together here today. Thank you. Thank you, Alex, for reading the land acknowledgement. Now I should like to welcome Tima Anchors to lead us and a flag salute. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag and the United States of America to hear from our superintendent, 
Please welcome Chan Boy. Thank you. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, esteemed faculty, and most importantly, the brilliant students at Archway Academy. Welcome. Today we gather here to celebrate this momentous occasion, the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance through one of the most challenging times in the world's history. And on behalf of the Evergreen Public Schools Board of Directors and the entire Evergreen Public Schools staff, it's my great honor to extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you today. Graduates, you have triumphed over challenges, embraced growth, and emerged as exceptional individuals. The world awaits your unique talents, and we couldn't be prouder of the remarkable individuals that you've become. Throughout your educational journey, our dedicated teachers, staff, and administrators have instilled in you a love for learning and encouraged you to reach for the stars. They have equipped you with the knowledge, the skills, the values to conquer the world, and for that, we are grateful. But let us not forget of the unwavering support of your families and friends that we have in front of us today. Their love and belief in you have been instrumental in your success, and today we celebrate your dedication as well. Thank you for the support of our students. As you stand on the edge of the new beginning, graduates, embrace the unknown, chase your dreams, and let your passion be your compass. Remember you possess the power to shape your own future and make a positive impact in the world. So graduates, as you spread your wings and soar into the expanse of the world, carry with you the knowledge that your community stands with you and behind you. We believe in your potential, your ability to create positive change in the world, and your capacity to make this world a better place. And I'm going to end in an um, impromptu uh, piece here. My office overlooks um, the Archway Academy. And when I want, when I'm feeling a little bit of gloom and despair in my office, I walk out of my office door and I walk into that space. I've had lunch with students. I've interviewed the students. I've walked the halls and, and visited the classroom. There's no more hopeful, positive place than Archway Academy graduates. Congratulations, thank you for being part of our institution, and good luck in the future. Thank you, John. We are now hearing from Alison Ray, Lovell. Lovell, special and teacher. everyone. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to talk about my students that are completing this year. Um, so first off, I have Lamberto J.J. Azrakhan, known around the program <laughs> yep. for his sense of style, right, J.J., an upbeat personality. <laughs> when J.J. first came to my class back in September 2020, he was a very, very quiet person. Flash forward to the next school year, and JJ was totally different, and his infectious laugh could be heard all around our building. Um, during the past three years, JJ has shown a lot of growth and maturity. He has learned to book his own C-van rides to and from his work site at Seize the Bagel. He's always ready to help out whenever he's needed. He has been just a great member of our community. JJ has enrolled in Clark College and plans to work with agencies to help him find paid employment. He's looking for, forward to his future, which I'm sure will be bright. So congratulations, JJ. <laughs> Up next is Alec Baldwin. So Alex Baldwin has dreams of becoming a published author one day and loves to spend his free time writing various stories and working on dance moves as well. Um, and during his time at Archway, Alex had learned to independently book his C-Van ride home. 
And he's also become very familiar with some of the fixed bus routes in the area and has been a trip leader on several occasions for our community-based instructions. Uh, Alex has had work experience at Union High School Kitchen this year and done very well there. Alex has also recently enrolled in Clark College and plans to work with agencies to find a paid job. Oh, Alex, good luck in all your future endeavors. This year, Michael Gallo uh, has been in my class. He is it was only for one year, but I've really enjoyed it, Michael. You've grown a lot. Um, Michael has inspirations of being a camp counselor or working with children in another setting like an after-school program, which I know you'd be really good at. He loves to socialize and play games whenever possible. During his time at Archway, Michael has learned to take C-Tran from his house to school and to book C-Van rides to his gym. Michael has enrolled in Clark College and is connected with DVR and plans to take first aid and CPR classes to help him get closer to his goal of being a camp counselor. Good luck in all you do, Michael. <laughs> Zach McClure starts each day at Archway with a bright smile and enthusiastic greeting for everyone he sees. No matter what the day holds, he's always ready to cheer people up with his upbeat personality. He's happy, kind, and always willing to help out. In addition to the two different work experiences that Zach has had this school year at Y East and Hampton Inn, he has also worked a paid job at, Le at Chipotle twice a week. Zach, you are truly awesome. Lexi McCorvey. Lexi is such a personable and driven young lady. She was only at Archway for one year, but accomplished a great deal in that time. She has a love of bowling and was even on her high school bowling team. And she used that passion for the sport to help her get paid work at Big Al's Bowling Alley, where she's worked for the past year. Lexi also volunteers at Archway and helps during community-based instructions. Way to go, Lexi. And up next, we have Claudia Pepin. Good afternoon, Evergreen family. My name is Claudia Pepin, a special educator at Archway Academy. And what a privilege that is. I have three students to talk about. John McCulley, Rashid Willis, and David Joyner. I'm gonna start with John. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. John, John McCulley is a praying man. He taught me how to pray and then take action. He is the wisest child I've ever met in my entire life. You know, he wants to be, um, he works at Furstenberg and he, work, he faced at, um, he's done a lot of jobs and he wants to be a janitor at his church, but I am so sure that John is gonna be a junior pastor at his church. He's a leader, he's dedicated, he's polite, and um, I hate to see him go. I just hate to see him go. Next, I'm gonna talk about Rashid Willis. Rashid Willis is, let's give, I'm telling you, when Rashid came to us, he was quiet. He just was recluse. He didn't talk that much. Now he's very open. He, he just has jokes. What in the world? I got my eyes on you, Rashid. And, I, you know, and because he's blossomed into a wonderful human being. And I have to say that I cannot take credit for that. I cannot. Micah O'Keefe, can you stand? Don Parrish, please stand up. Monica Ertler, please stand. And Kim Tan, that's my miracle working staff right there. Kim's up there. <laughs> and I could have never made it without them. They're wonderful staff. 
The last person I'm going to talk about is David Joyner. He is wonderful. David works in the school. He stays with me. And he helped me during the school year because we have a new building. And we're a team. And what we wanted to do is preserve our building and keep it clean and beautiful for a long, long time. So David has a very important job at Archway. When we disinfect, clean the bathrooms, make sure that everything is not worn. And so, and David also, we call him, sometimes we call him Michael David Jackson because he's an excellent dancer. <laughs> and I just, you know, I love my students so much and I'm, I love working at Archway Academy. Evergreen is my family and I want to thank you. Next up is our speech therapist, Tanya, to talk about Connor. Good afternoon, Evergreen families. I just wanted to say a few words today about Connor Wardendike. I had the honor to get to know Connor this year as his speech language pathologist. He has been an absolute joy to get to know. Connor can make anyone's day brighter with his beautiful smile and calm demeanor. It is impossible not to feel a sense of calm and happiness in Connor's presence. He communicates so much through his expressive eyes, and it has been an absolute joy to watch him begin to explore and use his communication device this year to participate in different activities and to communicate. Connor br brings happiness to all who know him, and we all wish him the very best in this next chapter. I would now like to introduce Anna Koivu to say a few words. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate all of these wonderful young adults. During their time in our, with us in the program, they have worked hard to expand their thinking, try new things, and learn to be more flexible. They have also helped their teachers remember to expand our thinking, try new things, and also be flexible. It has been a pleasure working with them all. Here's a few words about each of the completers from my crew. Christopher Brothers. Chris enjoys telling jokes with his friends. This year, Chris gained work experience at Seize the Bagel and Cascade Middle School. He is participating in the Job Foundations program through Trillium and hopes to find a part-time job through supported employment. This year, Chris also played unified basketball with a team at Evergreen High School. He enjoyed taking exercise classes, swimming, and walking the track at Furstenberg as well. Chris, we wish you the very best. Congratulations. Dimitri Shapoval. Dima is kind and creative. He enjoys spending time with his family and likes going fishing and to the beach. At school, he likes taking the bus, eating out, and swimming at Furstenberg. Dima enjoys cleaning tasks and has gained job experience working at Beautiful Savior Church. And he is always happy to help everybody around. Congratulations, Dima. Mr. Andrews. During his time at Archway, Mr. gained work experience at Evergreen Public Schools Bus Barn, helping with recycling and trash collection. Currently, Mr. is transitioning to supported living. He continues to work on life skills and socializing with others. He enjoys shopping and eating out. Mr. has also participated in Special Olympics track and field. Congratulations, Mr. Ryan McGrath. Ryan is a good friend, showing care and empathy for those around him. He enjoys sharing his love of transit with others and is eager for every opportunity to ride the vine or transfer at Fisher's Landing. This year, he has used his knowledge of CTRAN and TriMet to take a leadership role in helping us plan our outings. Ryan enjoys being active, and this year he was thrilled to once again be playing unified basketball with a team at Evergreen High. He is hoping to find other opportunities to make connections through sports. Ryan is continuing to work with Trillium through Job Foundations and has been sampling possible job positions. Congratulations, Ryan.
Now we'll hear from Janice. Hi, I'm Janice DeShane, a special education teacher here at Archway. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming to help celebrate our awesome completers this year. I'm proud of each and every one of them. I'm going to talk about a few students, but I'm really proud of everybody here. I'm so happy you made it. Um, this class is my COVID class. These are my COVID students. They started with masks on, and I remember looking forward to seeing their lovely faces when the masks finally came off. You know how you can tell that someone's smiling, but boy, once the mask came off and I got to see all their smiles, it made such a huge difference. I feel like we've traveled through the worst, scariest, and eventually the best of times together, this class and I. They have watched my trials and errors as a new teacher and uh, with the utmost patience and kindness, and I appreciate that. In turn, I have watched, sorry, I have watched them grow into the amazing people they are today. Uh, when I talk about you, can you stand up and give a little wave? I'm going to say a few words about Skylar. Skylar, say hello. <laughs> All right, you can have a seat. They just, I want to know, them to know who we're talking about here. Um, Skyler has a great sense of humor. I remember wondering if he would keep a straight face when the masks finally came off, and he does. <laughs> he also uh, turns out to be a tremendous cook, uh, and he made a video of him cooking just to show us how great he is at it. Um, Skyler's done a lot of work, and uh, He's, he's really, he would be the one that I would ask to hold down the fort if, uh, you know, while all chaos was breaking out. He's my rock. I'm going to miss you, Skylar. Um, Michaela, stand up and give a wave. <laughs> all right. Um, I have watched Michaela grow in leaps and bounds, especially in the past year. She has learned to handle her emotions with grace and dignity. She has such a big heart. She has been working with and teaching peers and has done an amazing job, um, both out in the community and um, working at, with Anna, um, with students in Anna's class. Um, Michaela, I believe you're going to be successful at anything you've put your mind to. I wish you all the love, success, and excitement the world has to offer. Congratulations, Michaela. Anne Marie. Anne Marie, stand up and sit. Do it a little wave. Oh, she's right here. <laughs> You'll hear from her in a minute. Um, Anne Marie is one of the kindest students I've ever had the privilege to work with. She was so shy and quiet when she first came into school, and now look at her giving speeches, joking around. It's just amazing. Um, I'm so impressed with her ability to persevere through the last three years and come out as a kind, smart, and capable young lady. I will miss her positive attitude and kind words every day. I wish you all the best, Anne-Marie. Cameron, stand up and say hi. <laughs> oh, what a great guy. Cameron has so many interests and skills, I have no doubt that he will go far in this world. He is an expert on movies and games and is a very independent guy. Um, he always has a joke up his sleeve and has cheered me up on many days when I was frustrated or sad. Um, he is kind, helpful, and has a big heart. I will miss you, Cameron. I wish you all the best, all the love and success you so greatly deserve. Congrats, Cameron. All right. Um, I, there are uh, a couple of other students graduating uh, in my class, Seth Lee and Sharn Shani Karjalinen, um, but I 
gave the privilege of speaking about them to Kim Roberts. Um, right now, we're going to hear a few words from Charlie Jenkins. It's been a while since I've done this, so uh, thank you for being patient with me. I haven't stood in about six months. Hi, I'm Charlie Jenkins. I have the honor of being able to work with uh, some of these students. And these are probably the finest completers that I've had to work with in quite a while. Um, and that's 19 years so far, and these are just fantastic young men that I'm uh, going to be speaking about. The first is Brandon Melmer, who is now a very independent C-Tran and C-Van user. Show us who you are, Brandon. Come on, give us a wave. He's over there somewhere. Uh, Brandon was, uh, his first year, uh, he and I kind of, I couldn't figure out his sense of humor at first, but now I really get him. <laughs> and it's really been a lot of fun having him in class. Um, he's made tremendous improvements during his three years, and he's a very cheerful team player in our class. Uh, he's currently working with DVR to find employment, and he hopes to live independently in a few years. Uh, next is Martin Koenig. Martin's been employed at the YMCA for several years, and at one time uh, he had two jobs. Where are you, Martin? There he is. <laughs> He's saving money for college, and he would also like to possibly join the Army Reserve and study welding. Martin independently accesses his community via public transportation and also wishes to work, uh, live independently in an apartment some, at some point in the future. But he's really good about uh, planning his money and, and, and holding on to it so he can pay for college. He doesn't want to do a student loan, so he's very, very smart. Uh, finally, I'm going to send you Tavai Portisano. To, come on, Tavai, where are you? You're going to see him a little later. He's going to perform for you. Uh, Tavai has obtained several jobs over the past three years and is currently working with DVR to obtain a new job. Tavai is perhaps one of the kindest students I've had and will do whatever he's asked of him. Tavai is also independent in his community and would also like to eventually live in an apartment. So thank you to you guys for being in my class for the last three years. And this, by the way, if I'm correct, is our last Crestwood class. So we're, uh, it's all, all uphill from here. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm going to introduce Kim Roberts. Hey everyone, I am Kim Roberts, I'm the CTE Business and Career Development Teacher, and I just want to welcome everyone here today. As teachers and students, we have had made many, many memories together, and this last year has seriously been the best. These thir uh, third year completer students all started out three years ago in two completely different locations, and it was so difficult to get festivities and um, learning together. Then we finally got a brand new school in 2021 and 22. However, this last year, the fun really started. We now have morning announcements. We started brand new clubs. We started and finished our first ever yearbook that we are very proud of. We've had all our school functions and festivities together under one roof, and our students have been involved from the very start. It's been my pleasure to teach every single one of the students at Archway, as I am the CT Business and Career Development teacher, along with Miss Nora Gizcombe Smith, our CT fa uh, FASI teacher, and Miss Stephanie Griffin, uh, Griffin Smith, our CTE Worksite Coordinator. But now I get the pleasure to get to brag about three special completers. This last March, we also started, which was so much fun, our first virtual assemblies. Once a month, that showcased students and staff's unique talents. And third year completer students, Shawnee, Seth, and Natalie, all volunteered <clears throat> to make this happen. 
It's hard sometimes for students to put themselves out like this, but these three showed everyone just how fun it could be. Shawnee and Seth started all off with a TikTok uh, dance challenge, and it was so fun to watch. This inspired other students to sign up. Shawnee and Seth have grown so much over the years, starting with helping them out every day. And so they helped me out every day the first semester, creating the morning announcements. And then they announced them over the microphone, which apparently is a very scary thing to do. But wow, did they do a great job. They also signed up to help put on the school functions and were always helping out other students in the classroom. Shawnee has loved working for the past two years in a classroom at Fisher's Landing Elementary for her worksite learning experience and is planning on a career in that field. Seth loves to dance and hopes for a career as a dancer. He was also one of my most confident students in career development when we were practicing how to greet someone for an interview and was the best handshaker I have ever seen. These two were totally in a third year completer mode this past year and they made sure they learned everything that teachers had to offer so they were well equipped for life after Archway. And now for Miss Natalie, I'm going, I'm going to, I've been a teacher for three years, I'm not going to lie, we've had a few cries together this last week and it's just like we can hardly be around each other without crying. I just want to keep her, period. <laughs> For next year and she's sad that the school has come to an end but I know that she will be just fine. Natalie was one of her completers who was also really excited about our virtual assemblies and started planning immediately what she was going to do. She accepted the TikTok dance challenge and did a great little routine with another student. Natalie has such a big heart along with a great attitude. She joined the leadership team in the Spanish club this year and she loves helping everyone out. She was sweet, smart and friendly. <laughs> And best of all, she loves her bling. She has such style in everything she wears, and I immediately connected with that. Natalie plans on working at Burgerville right after graduation while figuring out what she wants to do with her future. So in parting, I just want to say to all of our completers, you are all so creative, so smart in different ways, so please promise me that you will never ever doubt yourself. Oh, this is the part where I cry. You've studied hard and learned so much. You're prepared for the future and everything it holds for you. I have, I've had so much fun teaching you, laughing with you, boy, talking with you and learning from you, seeing you grow and turn into the person you are today. So here's my final words. And remember, Miss Kim doesn't like to say things twice. So be bold enough to use your voice, brave enough to listen to your heart, and strong enough to live the life you have always imagined. Congratulations, graduates. You've worked so hard to achieve this and you are on your way. Thank you. Next up is our program co uh, coordinator, Todd Karnofsky. All right, got a special surprise for all the graduates. Stephanie Griffin could not be here with us today. She's our worksite learning coordinator and she has a few words to share with all of you. First, I would like to say I'm really sorry I could not be here today to celebrate with each of you. Please know I will be thinking of you and sending the greatest wishes to send you off as you go to start the next stages of your adulthood. I'm so proud of every one of you. The growth that has taken place in the old and new wall of the transition program and now Archway Academy should make every one of you smile. The growth within yourself should make you even happier. Continue that growth for yourself I look forward to hearing the stories you share about your futures that you'll be creating. Above all, be kind, life is short, do great things, be great, and as happy as you can be. I'm really looking forward to seeing all your faces as a community, working or volunteering. Happy summer, now enjoy the rest of your lives. Great job, Steph. Now it's time for a special treat. Tivai is going to sing a song for us. Test, test. Uh, before I start singing, um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank my parents, my teachers, 
and to the ma'am above for helping me do this journey. Uh, it's been a great three years, and I'm proud of my fellow graduates for coming this far. We made it. Um, so the song that I will be singing is from Natasha Bedingfield. It's called Unwritten, and I hope you all like it. Feel the rain on your skin No one else can feel it for you Only you can let it in No one else, no one else can speak the words on your lips Touch yourself in words unspoken Live your life with unspiral Today is where your book begins The rest is still unwritten Sometimes when my tries are outside the lines We've been conditioned to not make mistakes But I can't live that way Staring at the play page before you Open up the dirty window Let the sun illuminate the west that you cannot find Reaching for something in the distance so close you can almost taste it Release your inhibitions Feel the rain on your skin No one else can feel it for you Only you can let it in No one else, no one else can speak the words on your lips Change yourself in words unspoken Live your life with our title Do this, what you book Feel the rain on your skin no one else can feel it for you, only you can let it in. No one else, no one else can speak the words on your lips. Stretch yourself with nerves and spoken. Live your life without quite a Two days where your book begins, the rest is still unwritten. Thank you. Thank you, T-Bag. Great job. Please welcome Emery. She said the same words to share it with us. Hello. I'm your man, Marie Ames. I'm graduating from Archway Academy, and I want to say thank you for all the staff for teaching me at Archway with my, to my skills. I will also want to say thank you to my parents to let me go to Archway and learn. One thing I will miss around is my friends every day. I liked working at the Humane Society and Harmony Elementary School in Hampton and going on community outings for fun. And I will miss that around places. At first, Going to Archway will be hard at first, but then when you make friends and do fun things with them, it'll be getting easier. And my plan 
is to learn how to drive and get a driver's license. At the same time, I would like to also work with the animals. And thank you for listening to me today. That is wonderful, Anne Marie. Thank you. For now, share with us. Our graduates can stand up and line up in the dish. Please join us in celebrating all of our graduates for the 22. 23 school year. I would like to start by presenting a diploma to Clementina Natalie Padilla. Jensen. <laughs> Mr. Andrew. Barreto <laughs> JJ. Gonshigo. Chan Magali. Mishit Willis. Willis. Connor McConley. Wharton Lee.
Let's give a round of applause to all our graduates. Thank you everyone to be here today. Thank you staff for everything you've done to support us. Thank you family for all your love and support. We are looking forward to the future. We are free to take a picture with our graduate by their posters. With our same light snacks and refreshments available. Thank you, everybody.